obviously a very pleasing outcome. What about the performance? Is most satisfied? Um, like conditions are unbelievably tricky. Like you're watching like before the game starts. Like as you arrive, and you're like, does it turn into a bit of a even the contest out? Like sort of the lottery element of those types of conditions. Um, but I, I thought the guys like you know they prep well during the week. Um, in terms of plan wise, I thought the forwards did a good job in terms of laying the platform for the team. Um, but that's off the back of a good week's work. So. Um, we're pleased to be through. Like it's, you know, Ulster put it up to us. Um, after Ryan Baird scores a try, you know, Ulster hit back, and you know, even when Jemison scores, they hit back again. So th- they're they're battled away, Ulster. Um, like we knew they would. Um, and yeah, it's, it's it's sort of a strange feeling, really, isn't it? Like so, it's a ten week lead into a game. Now you have a six day turnaround. So amazing support out there. In terms of an occasion, it's great. Obviously, the conditions made it very difficult to be a. Uh, Great spectacle, wasn't it? Like a lot of kicking from both teams, um, but that's unfortunately just the way it is. It's you know it's lash and rain. You've got to play the conditions. Um, but um, yeah, I thought we played the game in the right area generally, um, and th- that's important. You know, like just playing down the right ends of the field. Um, you know, because there's sort of a, it's a it's a cup rugby. You know, there was a couple of times we did get ourselves in a little bit of trouble, um, but overall, yeah, we're, we're pleased to get through because it's. It's not a straightforward competition, is it? Um, if you think you go through the pool stages, um, and then you, you you face Ulster, you know, good cohesive team that they are. Um, so it's about getting through, isn't it? So, uh, big thanks to everyone who turned out to be at the game today. Johnny Sexton is selling tickets now for the game next week, so um, to try and get a big crowd next week, um, because we're back here next Friday, and it's you know I know there's a lot going on this time of year, but it'd be amazing to have to be crowd here again on Friday. He's out in the streets in the ticket office, whatever it takes, he said. <laughs> um, it's lesser common, what were you expecting now? Um, similar type of game, really, isn't it? Um, you know, they'll, they'll kick a fair bit off nine, um, very organised in terms of their kick chase. Uh, so they'll try to play that pressurised, squeeze type of game. Um, you know, they played last night against Edinburgh in pretty horrific conditions. So, you know, hopefully it's a slightly drier day so that you can see a bit more fluid running rugby from both teams. Um, but yeah, like you know, you see the way England played with uh, here a couple of weeks ago. That sort of C Bortwick template. Um, you know, they're pretty big into their stats in terms of kicking and that sort of kicking metrics type of stats that they use to play that game model. Um, and Wigglesworth has a X nine series as well, so he understands what it takes to be successful at the top end of the game. So um, you know, it's going to be a good challenge for us again. Um, so for now, it's you know just talking the dress from there. The guys are it's it's on a bit recovery now and try and turn the page quite quickly. Very unusual sort of dynamic, isn't it? Whereas obviously in the past you'd have a whatever a couple of weeks lead into this game. So yeah, you know, we played against Leicester last season. Um, they've a couple of changes in personality. George Ford's gone, but Andre Pollard's there, so they've a ton of experience in their team. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a great test, isn't it? Really a good test. Um, but again, it's the occasion. It's so the dynamic of the tournament is very unusual, but the occasions are still pretty special, aren't they? So, um, you know, again, we're, as I said, we're, we're very appreciative of the crowd that's there. And you know, if we get a crowd again next week, it'd be amazing. Leo, you mentioned Ryan Baird earlier. He had very strong Six Nations. Looks like he's carried that form back into Yeah, Ryan right, played more in the, in the second row with Ireland, but yeah, he played at six. You know, great line at option. You can see just how athletic he is in the air, sort of his spring. and. Um, they come up with some big moments during the course of the game, try and start, you know, big poach turnover at one stage as well in the second half. Um, so, yeah, no, please, and obviously Jack and Josh, obviously Josh went off, so he's uh, just twists his ankles, we'll see how that is. You know, Scott Penny coming in there, you know, you know, he's someone who's played really well for Scott this year, so great to see him get a good chunk of time in a big Champions Cup knockout game. Um, the older players like, like John McKee coming off the bench for his European debut as well, really pleasing, you know, so... From where John is, John started the season in the academy. Um, so it's amazing the rise that he had. Um, if you think back, it was only really this time last year he's making his debut, um, playing against was it Sharks, wasn't it? Um, out in South Africa, baptism of fire out there for some of those guys. Um, but yeah, no, there's some positives in the game, and overall, yeah, we've come through okay. So, but it was a good physical contest out there. You see two teams, you know, they're going full at it, aren't they? So. Um, 
you know, when Ulster they stuck in it, you know, we had that sequence before half time where we're bashing away, you know, Jack gets over, just don't quite get down. Um obviously could score one try but we're we're very close in a few other occasions. Um but again credit to Ulster, they just thought they stuck in the game, scrambled well. Um and that's what teams we like, you know, Leicester will be the same next week, so um you know, making sure that we do everything we can now in a very short period of time, so to give her a decent performance again. Josh is, is it a doubt for next week at this point? Or? Um, we'll see, again, I, I don't know the full extent of it, so um seem to be moving okay there, but again, obviously he's had to come off with it, so 